I don't like that. Hello everyone, my name is Janika and welcome to this video. Currently I am backpacking through Bolivia and right now I am in Sucre and I had the idea to try some Bolivian snacks. Yesterday I went to a local supermarket and tried picking out different local snacks. I hope I have managed to pick just Bolivian things. At least I was reading through the labels very carefully and making sure that they all said that they are produced here in Bolivia. So yeah, at least they should be all Bolivian. Let me know if I have accidentally taken something that's not Bolivian. Yeah, I'm excited to try. There are some things that I think will be really nice and there are some things that I think might be a bit less nice. I have a bottle of water with me just in case. And yeah, I was thinking I could rate these things from a scale of one to 10. And let's see which one's the winner and which one's the loser. I must say it feels a bit weird to film this video now because it is actually only 8 a.m. but I need to film this before our checkout at 11. So yeah, now I'm gonna be eating a bunch of snacks first thing in the morning, but oh well, no, no can do, I'm excited. I don't know, what should we start with? Um, let's start with maybe something a bit easy. So let's start with this. I believe that this is chocolate covered rice puffs and I believe these ones are made here in Sucre where I am currently so it seems like Sucre is famous for its chocolate so I'm assuming this is a local product which is fun and they look like this from the inside they're very tiny like this so it's basically chocolate and rice I guess mmm oh yeah these are really good I've had those kind of chocolate bars with rice before, so this tastes very similar to that. It's very good, nothing super special though. I would maybe give this, a, let's say, a seven and a half out of 10. It's good, but nothing mind blowing and nothing like, whoa, but it's also not bad. Like, I would easily eat a whole bag of these and I probably will. Okay, what should I try next? Maybe next let's try one of the jello things. I've noticed that eating jello in Bolivia seems to be super popular. So yeah, I'm not such a jello fan necessarily, but let's give it a go. This one is pineapple flavored jello. So let's give it a go. Ooh, it's truly jello-y. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Cheers. This reminds me of my life 10 years ago when I was having jello shots. It's pretty good. I don't think the taste is very strong though. Like I can barely taste the pineapple. It's not bad, but I don't really, I'm not such a fan of the jello-y consistency. I don't think I would buy this again, but it's not like bad. I think I would give this a five out of 10. Let's now try something salty. So I have this little chip bag. I think it is corn chips with cheese flavor. I love cheese, so sounds pretty good. I was happy I was able to find very like small packages of most of the things. So yeah, as I am backpacking, I can't fit <laughs> 10 bags of chips in my bag necessarily, but these should be fine. Tonight we are taking the night bus to La Paz, so at least I will have my snacks sorted out for the trip. Or let's see if they all taste bad, <laughs> maybe not, but I doubt it for now. Let's try these. Ooh, they are in a fun shape. Like this. Tastes very odd. I guess because these are corn chips and not potato chips. The cheese tastes a bit weird as well. Has a really, really odd aftertaste, I must say. Hmm. I must say these are maybe not my favorite. It's not like they're horrible, horrible, but they're not very good either. So maybe a four out of 10. Next, let's try these 
waffle cookies. So these are in the flavor Dulce de Leche and we've come to learn on our trip in South America that Dulce de Leche is something very very popular here in South America. So it's basically like caramel but like a milky caramel and I'm quite liking it actually. Mmm, these are very very sweet but very good as well. I would probably buy them again, they are a bit dry so I do think you need something to drink while having these. But yeah, I would probably give these a 8 out of 10. So these are the best so far, I would say. Okay, as we seem to be in the country of Jello, I have another Jello product. This one was sold like without any labels. I think like the top part is Jello and the bottom part is something made out of dairy. I don't know, yogurt, condensed milk. But yeah, these kind of products seem to be very popular here, so. I thought I have to try a few different ones. This one seems to be one that they make at the supermarket or something. So let's give it a go. Also, I kept these products in the fridge last night as I bought them yesterday. So I'm not entirely sure how well the fridge is working. Let's hope I won't get any food poisoning. Let's try this jello and mystery white substance out. <laughs> I want to get a bit of the white stuff and a bit of the jello. Okay, here goes. Hmm, this one definitely has a much, much stronger flavor than the pineapple jello did. Not sure what the white stuff is though. I'll try and have almost only that. Honestly, it just tastes very, very sweet. But this was definitely better than the other one. Pretty good actually. The jello consistency icks me out a little bit, but the taste is pretty good. I think I would give this a 7 out of 10. Yeah, I think that sounds pretty accurate. Next up, let's try another local chocolate. This one also says Sucre Bolivia, so I'm assuming it's made here. This one out of all of the products sounds the best. It's chocolate covered marshmallows. That sounds so, so good. Ooh. Look at that. Wow. Ooh, looks really satisfying somehow. Mm. Whoa, these are extremely soft. Like, there's no bite into them. Which, I don't know, I, I think that's kind of satisfying in some way. I feel like this is something I could eat the whole bag <laughs> within five minutes. I think I would give these an eight and a half out of 10. These ones are definitely the best so far. Which means that the waffle cookies have to step down and up comes the marshmallow chocolate instead on first place so far. Okay, I have four snacks left. I feel like these ones that I have left are the most questionable ones. So what I have left is yogurt in this bag. I don't know how I'm supposed to eat this or open this or anything. It looks extremely questionable. Then I have these banana flavored chips made out of corn. It doesn't sound like something I would want to buy or try, but... Then I have this. This is also some kind of jello thing. I saw this was being sold in like a cake form. Luckily I was able to find like a smaller version and they didn't have to buy a full cake. I have honestly no idea what this is. It looks like there's like different little jello bits inside. I don't know, but it looks very questionable. And then lastly but not leastly, I have corn flavored candy. Yeah, I don't know where I should start, to be honest. Maybe this questionable yogurt thing. I'm also a bit scared of drinking slash eating this because I don't think it's been in cold enough temperatures overnight. <laughs> and I do have the night bus still tonight ahead of me, so don't necessarily want food poisoning, but let's try it out. Okay, let's try. I'm really scared of making a huge mess. Ugh. Oh, that smells awful. What flavor even is this? Pink flavor, chicle. The flavor is chicle. Let me quickly Google translate what chicle means. Chicle. Gum. Okay, so it is bubble gum flavor. I guess right, but it smells really bad. I think it might be because of the non-working fridge. Pray for me that I won't get food poisoning from this. Cheers. How am I supposed to? Actually, the flavor is not as bad as the smell. <laughs> it just tastes very sweet. I don't think I would buy this. I can imagine. This is a children's favorite uh, yogurt flavor. It's not as bad as I thought 
also not good. Um, I think I would give it a four and a half out of 10. So it's still not the worst thing I've had so far. The chips are still <laughs> the worst thing I've had so far. So let's try this question mark jello cake thingy. This is also something there's actually no description on <laughs> what it contains. Um, I think it's something that's just locally made and sold in the supermarket, but let's give it a go. Okay, so it looks like this. Seems like there's bits of jello inside. Ooh, this also doesn't smell so good. But I think that might be the flame of the fridge. <laughs> looks very questionable. I must say it doesn't look very appetizing. <laughs> Here it goes. I don't know. I really, really hate the consistency. I think the green jello tasted really, really bad. The other one tasted okay. Let's try just the white stuff without anything else. So I'm really curious to know what it is. If you know, let me know down in the comments. I tried to do some research before this video, but honestly, there's not that much information online, at least not in English, about Bolivian supermarket snacks. So yeah, let's try just the white stuff. Okay. I don't like that. Oh. It's very sweet, has a very like fake flavor. Does that make sense? I don't know, like it tastes like just a bunch of chemicals almost. Mm. Oh. Oh. Really sorry if this is someone's favorite dessert, but <laughs> it's really awful. <laughs> I'm sorry. I need to have some chocolate covered marshmallows to get the flavor away from my mouth. Mm, so good. Mm. I think I would rate this uh, two and a half out of 10. I really don't like it. The consistency and also the flavor, it's just not for me. Let's try the banana flavored corn chips first. I'm glad I was able to find it in a small bag. Who knows, maybe these are the best thing I've ever had. Let's try. It looks like this. It smells like banana. Somehow a sweet chip is, I don't know, it just doesn't sit right with me. Chips are supposed to be salty, right? Let's try. Extremely weird. First reaction is that the consistency is awful. It's very like soggy almost. And it's a bit of a like fake banana flavor, which I'm not such a fan of. But are they worse than this mystery dessert? Which one would I rather eat if I had to? Maybe the banana chips. I think I'm gonna give these a three out of 10. I don't recommend necessarily. Maybe if you're a huge fan of banana and you want everything to taste like banana, this is the thing for you. Okay, last but not least, we have the purple corn flavored candy. Okay, it has come to my attention after filming this that purple corn flavored food, aka chicha morada, is actually considered a Peruvian thing. But in my defense, this particular candy, it did say it was made in Bolivia. So maybe chicha morada is also a Bolivian thing? I don't know, I'm a little bit confused. But just wanted to point this out. Okay, that's all. Thanks for coming to my mini TED talk. Back to the video. Let's try it out. These come wrapped in these little separate candy wraps. Looks like this, it's a little purple candy. Doesn't look like it's gonna taste very bad. Let's try it out. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. I don't think I would buy these, but um, yeah, quite neutral. I would maybe give these a five out of 10. So that wraps up our little Bolivian supermarket snack tasting session. The winner was definitely these marshmallow chocolates made here in Sucre. 
super, super good. My least favorite one was definitely this jello pudding weird dessert. But yeah, that was all the things I tasted this time. I'm sure I could have tried many, many more things, but like I said, I need to check out from this accommodation very soon. And I still need to pack and stuff, so I need to start wrapping up this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, maybe would it be fun for me to do more similar kind of videos? For example, we're going to Peru soon. Maybe I could try some Peruvian snacks next. Let me know, what do you think? If you have anything on your mind, don't be shy. Leave a comment down below. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Please remember to also subscribe to my channel to join the journey. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys again on my next adventure. Bye bye.